We're taking a short interlude from creating this first trillionaire website to back up our work, save our work. Um, I should have did this a while ago, but I did not create a Git repository to store this pro to store this project in. Um, that was a big mistake, because if I made any errors, I would have to restart. Or if there was an act of God on this system, then I'd be up the creek without a paddle. So I am now in github.com, logged in. I'm going to go to um, this plus symbol here and do new repository. We're not importing anything. Um, that's like cloning an old repo from somewhere um, with the history, I, I'm guessing. So yeah, we, we do have a code base, but it it is not a repository yet let's get on with it i'll click it instead of uh we'll go under the dress the repository name first dash trillionaire and yes it is owner russell or jones russell no template description site for first uh i mean code for Drupal code four. Uh, that first trillionaire.xyz, which is not up. Uh, public repository. Anyone's going to be able to view it. You can make yours private if you like and don't want eyes on it. You do not want to touch any of these default options if you have an existing code base, um, unless you know what you're doing. So we're going to leave them alone because we don't know what we're doing. And we're going to hit create repository. That's it. We have a repository in GitHub. Um, but that's not it for the whole program. Okay, let's look at the instructions they're giving us. <coughs> Go to or create a new repository on the command line. We don't want to do this. Or push an existing repository from the command line. The first bit of instructions um, we don't want to do because there's no good reason I can think of. Actually, it looks good. Yeah, actually, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, get in it is the beginning. Let's. Uh, oh yeah, that's the site over there. That's Bezos watching over our shoulder. Uh, this is PHP Storm with the code base in it. Bezos in there. Um, this is the terminal, just like any other, but it's in PHP Storm and it's already in the uh, Droops root where we want to be. See, web vendor, that's all over here. Uh, we will go ahead and start with the readme. This is essentially the same thing as clicking around new file and creating a readme and then putting in that hashtag first trillionaire. Up here is the readme. It's, uh, that kind of access so some sort of some sort of spying maybe um where were we get add readme we're going to want to all of our files however we don't actually want to add this vendor directory and probably stuff in here and there is an example get get ignore but uh, that's going to take too long for us right now. We're just going to jam that whole web directory into the Git repo and upload it, leaving out vendor. How we do that is a file, new file, dot git ignore. In this file, we will tell it to ignore uh, I lost the directory at some point. Edev's not there, but anyhow, um, we'll ignore slash vendor. 
or rather we'll ignore vendor slash PHP still recognizes it's a directory that we're ignoring. Um, we'll leave the rest, save, close that, close that. If we have a look at the, not that, no, we don't have a get repo yet, so there's nothing to boot to look at. All right, we'll continue with git init, which initializes the repository. This output is saying we have branch master as the name for the initial branch, this default branch name. A note about branch names. Uh, the old style was, and by that I mean old versions of git, when you created a new git repository, the main branch primary branch, whatever you want to call it, was called master. Um, master and slave relationships were very common in computer science, I guess you would say, so, uh, services, um, where you would have one server as a master, or one whatever as a master, parent, and a child that uh, replicates from it. Now, in this case, they have changed the naming convention to main so when you create a new repository it becomes main and i forgot that we're gonna have to deal with this um but that's okay this is going to be a problem that most people face all right where were we we were going to change the name of the branch then to main how do we do that we have to create a new branch and you do that on the command line by typing git checkout dash b space and then the name of your branch which is main we now have a main uh, main branch we can we've skipped adding our file so we'll do that now git add period which is the current directory recursive leak seems like it's taking a while <clears throat> yeah there's a bunch of files that you would normally not commit so it's going to be a rather large repo um, we're not going to try to make it pristine from the get-go we'll definitely get muddied up now if we do a status and get status and we'll just use the shortcut you can see all the files that we have added <clears throat> to the repo um, they are not committed, meaning they're kind of staged, ready, ready to go out onto, uh, no, I guess that's, yeah, ready to go out on stage. I don't know. Important thing is there's another step. You still have to uh, commit with a message. So that's git commit dash M. Um, this is a very popular initial message and it's initial commit. And it's in Bodies. Uh, Hit enter. It's uh, doing its thing. Now we have a clean main branch indicated by the green in our terminal. Uh, hopefully, you're working within a terminal that will report your branch, I mean, your Git doings. Otherwise, it gets quite confusing. Uh, okay. We committed now we want to set what does git branch actually do git branch dash h how do you describe this this will tracking those are actions so it's just actions so which dash m move move rename a branch and it's reflog Oh no, no, that's wrong. Sorry, that's uh, lowercase. Capital case M is move rename a branch even if target exists. Git branch dash M main. Now we want to add the remote, which is the GitHub URL. Probably not explaining things awesome, but you try it. 
All right, so I just copied and pasted that Git remote. Um, you do a Git remote move Git remote dash V. You'll now see our GitHub URLs. I could have showed you that before it'd be empty, and then it would have been exciting. So we want to finally push all these additions and creations up into the GitHub cloud into the probably bare repo up there we did not set an upstream i don't know how to explain that quickly so we're going to skip the explanation and go for it uh, you can have many origins um did we even talk about orange or oranges origins which is right there you can have like a a bit bucket origin so if you push to your bit bucket origin it it pushes the bit bucket funnily enough okay looks like we are done and if we reload this page there it is um cool eh all right we can get on with it now so i'm gonna stop